Hello and welcome back to our 25 days of Advent in Animal Crossing. Don't know why I decided to appear from behind this cupboard because it's not Halloween. It's Christmas. Anyway, let's get on with today's build. So for today's build, I'm going to be building right down there. Yes, I am. I'm going to be building. Let me show you. Oh, I would show you, but there seems to be a roadblock. Can I get through? No, please. Wade, thank you. <laughs> Need to push him just a little squish. So basically, we're going to be building this area right here. Now, I've already decided to put down a little bit of a marker on the floor so that we know where we're placing the building. I've already measured it out because I kind of had to. You can probably tell what building is going to be going here by the size of it. I mean, actually, I don't know. Is the museum and Nook's Cranny both the same size? I don't know. Possibly. Anyway, Nook's Cranny is going here, not, not the museum. Also, I need to show you a few things that I've done. So I've already brought this pathway all the way down. I need to bring it a little bit further. Apparently, all the rocks have spawned here. There's three rocks. Three out of six. What's going on? Also, I did a little bit more work around resident services. I put all these lovely festive trees around, and I think it just looks so fun. And also... I did have to make these bits wider so I could fit these trees in because I just, I like how over the top it is. I also want to go along here and add some more codes on the road. I also want to add some more glowing moss, but on the road so you get a little bit of a sparkle when you walk around because we all love a bit of a sparkle. But anyway, let's get to work. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to move my house. I don't think so. I think it will be okay just for this video, but I'll probably have to move it for when we build behind here. But I'm not planning to build behind there today, but I, I know what I want to do. Okay, first things first, we need need to put down some of this wood card. I'm just gonna put a big old bit of it. <laughs> Basically just all the way down to here. I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I think I'm just gonna go here. Although it might have been better if I didn't go here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Stop being so indecisive. I should have really measured how long this is. So let's count one, two. Oh, it's seven. Okay, that's annoying because I wanted it to be even. Actually, it doesn't matter. Even doesn't need to be always. No, that sentence made no sense. I then want to go along here and I just want to chuck in some code, but like the snow code, just literally all the way along. Now, I did pick up some medieval building side and of course they are in the color pink. I know you can get them in blue as well, but we don't really have anything blue on this island. I know we have a rainbow tree and there's like blue bits, but the main colors aren't blue. So I feel like I don't want to use blue. That was not meant to happen. Actually, wait a second. Are we on to something? I'm having a brain moment. My brain is currently exceeding all expectations. Okay, so we're gonna put Nook's cranny in here. It should take away the rock. Oh, hi, Red. There's Red. Oh my gosh, fancy bumping into you here, you criminal. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Let's put in our nook's cranny. Wait, is it gonna take everything away from me? I hope it doesn't take my walls. It didn't, it kept the walls there. I'm pretty sure it did. Yes, it did. Okay, this game sometimes is very nice. Anyway, let's time travel, let's go. Okay, so nook's cranny is here and look at this beautiful snow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love the snow. Look how pretty it is. But anyway, look how pretty nook's cranny look. We do, however, probably need to add another wall. I don't think it's going to let me though. Oh, it does. Wait, can you completely block off Nook's Cranny? <laughs> I did not know that you could completely block off the front of Nook's Cranny like that. That is actually so funny. <laughs> okay, right. We do not want to be blocking Nook's Cranny off. <laughs> so instead, let's do a little push arenies. Let's push everything around. I am going to need to go and get some more of these medieval walls, though. You can't fit through. Oh, is it because this one wasn't pulled back? Since it looks like this, I don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to try and work our magic. By the way, I'm only going to be doing this left side of Nook's Cranny today. We're going to be doing the right side in another video because I have other plans for another big build that side. But for this build, we're going to be just doing this side. I love how I've put this down, by the way, though, and I haven't done the path. Yeah, I'm going to finish the path. Okay, so I've kind of done a little bit of a path. So this is looking cute though, but I feel like it's missing something in the middle. I'm thinking an archway. I think I know which one. Okay, so if I don't like it in this color, I'll be changing it back. Frozen arch. Oh, oh, do I like that? Okay, it looks weird. I don't like it. Try something else. I've got a decorative pillar. Would a decorative pillar look nicer? Possibly. Maybe if I pushed it over. No, see, because you get that weird gap. Okay, I've grabbed a couple of different things. We're going to try all sorts out. I haven't customized these yet, but I'm going to. They're not going to stay this color. But I was wondering, just, you know, wondering what they would look like if they were in front here. Maybe get rid of that. I don't know how I feel. I mean, they just look like giant party hats. 
I don't know why that's what I'm thinking of. And then maybe I could stick decorative pillars in. Maybe, let's try. One there and one the other side. I mean, it is quite over the top. There is one more option I have, and that is a street lamp with banners. Oh, okay, that looks better. Okay, the street lamps look so much better. I just need to customize them. Oh, okay, we finally got somewhere. Okay, let's see if it can work its magic. Make it look pretty. All right, then one the other side. Okay, that looks so much better. It, it does. Which means now I can just put my walls here if I want to. Obviously, like I said, I'm not planning on doing this side today because we are doing something else. But there's no harm in putting these walls in, right? Just so we can complete the build. Also, behind, I'm probably going to terraform or put more building walls. Haven't decided yet, so that's why I'm leaving it. But look, that looks really cute. Okay, looks cranny looks sweet. It looks yummy. Actually, yeah, sweet is probably the right word. I'm going to pick this back up, though, because... Because, because, because I've got this cute little pink little candy sweet. I don't know what these are. They're, what are they? Peppermint? Strawberry mints? I don't know. What are these sweets meant to be? I don't care because they look good. They look so yummy. On the topic of sweets, actually, though, what is your favorite Christmas candy? I want to know. What do you like to eat? Yeah, what is your favorite Christmas candy? I want to know. Maybe some recommendations? Maybe? Maybe you have some? Let me know. Also, I'm going to re-pick this up because I want to kick this bit away and just corner it off and then we can get rid of the other bit so then I can put in a tree. <laughs> Let's be honest, I have to get some trees in somewhere because this is looking so bad. I want to put a tree right here. I'm not going to be able to stick anything in there, which is so annoying. It's because of these street lamps. So I am going to pick them up and I'm probably just going to put some code on the floor just to fill it out. It may even look really cute if I do this. I don't know though. We'll see. That's not where I wanted it, but fine. Or there. We'll, we'll eventually get it in the right place. One tree here and one tree here. Also, I was just slightly confused by this villager. I didn't know who it was. And then I realized it was O'Hare. It's just you can't tell because you can't see his bunny ears. <laughs> Do you know what I'm slightly amused by right now? The fact that I still haven't done the main part of this build. <laughs> I've just been too busy messing around with Nook's cranny. It's kind of amusing. I'm amused. I, it doesn't take much to amuse me, but I am amused. Okay, that's so cute. I like this. I like making islands that don't necessarily have to be so realistic i'm really enjoying this i think that's my new thing my new plan is to make islands less realistic because i'm enjoying this so much more than i thought i would in front of these street lamps i'm just gonna pop in a holly bush and then one on the other side i i'm gonna add more stuff i think i might add like a glowing moss something here or the boulder or whatever because they look like snow but right now let's work on the main area that i was planning to build today so i want to build a market here we are going to build a market here we're going to do it now for some reason i don't know why but i want to do this fencing <laughs> i think it just makes it look a little bit more fun hopefully this is the green one it is i kind of like it i do i don't think it's gonna let me put a tree in here though is it no it's too close i've already seen it's way too close to nook's cranny but that's okay we'll fix that later on but there's the fencing for some reason i kind of like it it kind of makes everything feel a little bit more kick core i guess i guess i'm going for kick core <laughs> i love how i'm so decisive i'm like yeah it's not kick core but it is kick core but it's not it is it's not it is do i need simple panels I might need some simple panels because that just looks like it's caged. So I went and got my simple panels. I've already customized them ready. Let's push these in. Look, they're cute. They look like they got little toys or candy on. I don't know what it is, but I think it's cute. So that's all that matters. Hopefully this will look better. Let's try it first with the stool in front just in case. Oh yeah, look. That looks a million times better. Okay, we're good. We're gonna do the same this side. I'm also still gonna keep the fencing. Also, I've noticed I didn't customize all the simple panels. I obviously forgot about this one. There we go, a customized simple panel. Right, let's stick another stool here. And then I think I'm still gonna add some more stools because it doesn't really look like a market. <laughs> A bit bare for a market. I think we'll put some more stools either along here or along here. Also, I've just remembered something. I forgot. Oh my goodness. It was only yesterday as well. I forgot to show you all who moved in. Remember we did that house for the ice house? I'll show you. <laughs> If you all guessed it correctly, then congratulations. But here he is. Here is sweet little Fang. 
I haven't spoke to him yet. <laughs> Don't judge me. At least he's pleased to be here though, right? That's the main thing. Anyway, if you guessed Fang, you were correct. Fang is cute. I just had to have him and he just screams ice sculpture to me. To be honest, I think that's what he did on Snowdrop as well. I think he was an ice sculpture. All right, let's put down some storefronts. Now you might be thinking, why, why have we got storefronts? We have got these storefronts because apparently I'm not able to put them in the right place. I don't know if I'm going to need more than what I've got. Actually, no, I think I've, I'm having another idea. Another, another brain idea. Let's put them this way around instead. Actually, no, I kind of like it both the ways. Let me just see. Okay, this could be fun, but I need to customize it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this to work. Right, storefront in you go. Back around this way. And then we're going to chuck in a stool. Okay, it's kind of cute. And then I want to do a stool this side as well, of course. It looks fun. It's different, right? It's different. That's all that matters. <laughs> right, we do need to decorate the stool and in front of here because we need to. I'm thinking now that we got this a bit further down though, do I have to move everything down one or should I just move everything up one? That could be okay, right? That's enough space. I think so. Right, let's get some hedging in. And then I'm going to just put iron fence in the middle because why not? We got a red piece and a green piece. Now to decorate the little stalls. Also, we still need more decoration around on these roads. Like it's so bad. It's too bad for me. Okay, so we've grabbed a ton of things. I'm just hoping we can make this look nice. I got an espresso maker. I was gonna say espresso machine, but whatever. They're both the same, right? And then we got a bag of coffee beans. Okay, then here I'm gonna pop down a steel trash can because this is where you're gonna put all your trash, all your rubbish. You don't wanna just dump it on the floor. And then we have a wooden stool. Also, I might get some of those little roost cups. I think they'd be really cute to pop around. On this stool back here, we're going to chuck up a baby bear. Right, let's put a baby bear down and also a dolly. Let's pop that there, even though they're spooky, but you know, they're toys. We've got a Tim robot on this one and a dinosaur toy. How cool. How cute is that? Now, I don't need to decorate this store because what's the point in causing lag if you're not going to be able to see it anyway? I want to quickly go back over to Nook's Cranny because I feel like it needs something, you know? We got an illuminated present. That always works. These are going to look so pretty when they glow at nighttime, by the way. That's what I'm most excited for. <laughs> in front of this, I might put a dollhouse. Give it a little pullover. Oh, how cute. Actually, spin it all the way. Oh my gosh, yes, it's cute. The little toys. Okay, I love it. In front of here, I want to stick this gift pile here, but I'm hoping it doesn't crowd up the road too much. Oh, it doesn't. I kind of like it off-centered. I'm going to need another one on the other side, but we'll probably have to do that next video because like I said, we're not doing this side yet and I don't want to pick it up because that would just be a pain. There's one more thing that I really wanted to place, but I don't think it's going to fit anywhere, which is such a shame because it would have been adorable unless I stick it here. The free tiered snow person. Oh my gosh, yes, that's so cute. <laughs> Look at its little face. I definitely feel like I want to go around and add bits onto the road at least. Because it makes everything just look a little bit more fun. Maybe he's the newspaper person. That's why there's this bundle of papers here. I don't know. I would like to put some trees behind here. But obviously my house is here and I don't want to block myself in because that would just be a pain. I can put them there when I've moved the house, right? Also, Rex is here. Who likes Rex? I feel like he's the best lion. I know a lot of us don't like the lions. But come on, he's the best one, right? Okay, and now it is truly gonna bug me i need to put that last gift pile in <laughs> i know it's not gonna fully go over the road but we just have to ignore that fact for now okay just ignore it we will fix that in another video i don't know if it'll be tomorrow or if it'll be another day i'm not sure yet also i picked up these grass standees because look how cute they are they make everything look cute i love the standy items if you've been following me for a while you've been following my kick core islands you know i love these things just look they just add a kind of like an animation feel to the island i feel that's a lot of feels <laughs> Also, I know I can put stuff on here, on the top, and I kind of want to. Wait, you can put glowing moss balls up there? Okay, now that's a game changer. But right, we're not going to use that glowing moss ball for that. I'm hoping it will go in here nicely and just look like a snowball. It does, right? And you can get through quite nicely still. Also, for some reason, I picked up a fire hydrant. Not sure why. I, I guess I was planning on putting it on the road. Although it looks cute there. Oh my gosh, this whole island is looking so cute. Wait, do I have an idea? This could look really strange. This is a last minute idea, by the way. So just bear with me. Okay, the idea is that this will look like it's burst. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really like it. It looks like the water's burst out and it's frozen. A couple more things I want to add, but I hope they don't 
clutter it up too much because as much as i love putting loads of things down all the time sometimes it can be a bit much i will admit i wonder if this tricycle would look cute here maybe if we push it in oh my gosh okay this is is kick core <laughs> that's it it's it's kind of a mix of kick core and everything else in between let's quickly pop a code on the floor though we're gonna put the hopscotch oh my gosh stop okay i'm in love with this island the more and more i build every single day i love this oh i don't like that <laughs> do you know what i honestly thought to myself that you know this island would be hard to get done in a certain amount of time but you know i'm having so much fun i just want to constantly build and that's a good thing because obviously i need to constantly build if i want to get it done by christmas i 100 percent believe this was the right decision to make i'm so glad i didn't decide to do a 30 day challenge because i feel like i would have ended up hating that but oh my gosh this is so cute i'm definitely gonna be working more on these pathways uh i think i said that in the last video and the last one anyway <laughs> but i'm definitely gonna be adding more to these pathways i'm gonna be adding some glowing moss just to make it a little bit sparkly when you walk over but let's have a look around at what we did today so here we have the part of our market it's nothing special nothing crazy but i really like it because you know you can tell this is a little toy market and also this is probably probably my favorite thing i've ever done the burst fire hydrant i kind of love that and as you carry on walking down the road you can stop and get yourself a lovely hot drink i forgot to put a mug on this stall oh my gosh <laughs> doesn't matter we'll do it later and then you can walk past the snow person here who might be selling newspapers i'm not quite sure but you know stop and say hello and then over here we have nook's cranny which is fully decorated a bit more than i thought i was gonna decorate it but i'm not mad about that because it looks cute and fun and i love it i might put something on top of these pillars still i'm not sure yet i was thinking the glowing moss stools because they look quite fun they just look like giant snowballs but there we have it we have finished today's build oh my goodness i love this island so much and it's only day five anyway i hope you all enjoyed today's video don't forget i am posting every single day of december up until the 25th if you love christmas if you love animal crossing please consider like commenting and subscribing to the channel i hope you all have a lovely wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow goodbye